Let's uh, let's move on. So, Kev, uh, before we get into our regular parts of the show, while we're uh, starting off with these beers, we should uh, uh, or not starting off, but while we're continuing on with these beers, uh, we should uh, get into keeping score. Now, why is it that we chose to have an episode about just our past bets? Because it is episode fifty-two. I know. I can't believe Ep- I lasted this epi- long with you, Patrick. Uh, yeah, absolutely. And so <laughs> it, I, I don't know if any of our listeners can connect the dots as to how many weeks there are in a year, but this is the week prior to our one-year anniversary for the okay. show. So I, I have a full mea culpa. I okay. thought this was the actual anniversary Mm-hmm. So I'm not very smart. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. <laughs> and but uh, at least you remembered. <laughs> yeah, at least I remembered. Like, my, and my wife, I was telling my wife, and she asked if I was going to buy you something to celebrate, <laughs> like a like a, a ring or something. I I, I, I do know. like I do like silver. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Anyways, it's a good thing I don't do anything right. with dates or numbers for a living because yeah, it's no, not I that agree. important. It's not that uh, important. But we are we so, decided to go and take this opportunity before our one year anniversary, which is to next review, week, to review all of our the bets, bets we've made throughout right. the year. Now, there were a couple extra ones that were already settled and stuff. So we just wanted to uh, highlight some of the core ones that are still yeah. either have just been settled and or uh, are going to be settled shortly. And we just want to okay. keep this going. So going back to one of our very first episode. It was November 9th of yep. uh, 2018, a year ago. Um, the, uh, you came up with this little chart show that you put on about all of these midterm elections and the 18 months that follow. So we were making a Duke and Duke wager. I think it was actually the 12 months, but that's fine. It was the 12 months after the midterm elections, and it was a Duke and Duke uh, wager because all of those over the last 40 years or 50 years, they've all been positive. Right. And you, Patrick, was were bearish no. for change. I, I was bearish, but you know what? Uh, we did have a December, uh, sorry, that sep- uh, October to December market crash that wiped out 20% of the market, dude. Yeah, but that was the, uh, the idea was whether we were going to be 12 months from now higher or lower. Okay, yeah. And I said higher, and yeah, you said lower. Yeah, all right, right, right. And you're so, wrong. Okay, so I am going to one give up for you. Kev. I am going to give you one. You know, and the best part is what many of our listeners may or may not know is in Canada, we don't have dollar bills. We have loonies. That's but right. But because I was in the States just now, I came back with a wallet full of dollar bills. And yeah, so well, for the What Duke were you doing Duke, that you needed dollar bills for, Patrick? <laughs> okay. No idea. So, yeah, but so I am it- going, I'm going to give you a Duke and Duke special dollar bill when i see you next week okay well we got to wait for the 12 oh no actually i won that one okay fair enough that's yeah, awfully enough. kind of you yeah yeah so you can this see is here the, the chart tar- just so you can see the fact that uh it's been nothing but up for apart from that two months when patrick was right but I'll, I'll, the other <laughs> 10 were all were all up okay next right. bet so the december 8th well december 8th which was a, bu- a month afterwards we we threw the gloves down about the fact that i was a bond bull and you were not a bond bull, let's call it. You were. That's right. uh, we won't call you a bear, but you were. No, you can. I was yeah. bearish and wrong, but the thing yeah. was that I said if you're. But you said be the right, home builders. Yeah. I said if you're going to be right about the bond bond the bond market rallying so hard and yields going down, I said that a better place to be is in the home builders because they're going to outperform. Right. And you said you called so BS our wager, on that one. Yeah. So our uh, so the wager was. This Christmas dinner coming up uh, in a month and a half's time, we, when we get together for our an annual Christmas dinner, that somebody's on the hook for steaks. Yeah, so and, it's a big uh, one. It's a big one. It, this the year's not over, but yeah, I'm not, so but I, don't wanna, I don't want. I don't want to. I don't want to. But I'm not looking good right now. Let's pull right up now, the chart here. Yeah, so you can see here on this chart. Uh, while, while I'm ahead, tw- like being up twenty plus percent on bonds, like we should have all adjusted this. Right, but yeah. I did. But I chose not to, which yeah. is my error, um, and because if we were vol adjusting, then I probably could be beating you. Well, but it might be it might have been closer at the very least. It would at a minimum would have been. Closer, and as it but, is now, it doesn't look I very am, close. I am Patrick, I am up twenty percent plus on the okay. on the on the bonds, but you are up a staggering. I'll let you say the number. Forty three percent. That's right. 
Yeah. You no, know, the that home was, builder's been a great place to be. It's uh, been you know what? It just run. when you laughed at me, it just made me feel all the better. I told you, the more that I get <laughs> laughed at, the better I feel. Let's well, go listen, on to the next bet. You know what? I, I, I'll use all my TLT profits to buy you a steak, dude. Nice. Right. I like it. Right. Okay. You know, like that's that's. Uh, I'll find a way to to. Live. Okay. Well, here all right, so, I, I overstayed my welcome on the Bond Bear Camp. Right. So on March seventh uh, um, of this year, we had a bet about ten-year Treasury yields, and you suspected that we would never see yields below 2% again. Yeah, that was pretty stupid. <laughs> yeah. You do you get No th- other way around it. No other way around it. I was completely that, wrong. you were you were spectacularly wrong. I agree. Completely And agree. I am so disappointed that all I get out of this is a fucking dollar. Yeah, I the know. Duke and Duke. Like the, give you the, back the, your, I give you back your I give you back your Duke, uh, your dollar that you give me. No, no, there's no such thing as give backs. We don't neutral out. You uh, I'm going to okay, give you a dollar. I, you have to Well, do you know what? Back. I'm going to do the arb. I'm giving you a loony. I only bet you a loony. I'm taking the 32 cents for myself. <laughs> Let's pull show the chart to show how wrong I <laughs> yeah. was. Yeah, really wrong. Two yeah. percent uh, gave way like a like a an old lawn chair that's been out in the sun too long. It's just <laughs> it's really bad. It was it was ugly. That, that listen, it was the August the August. Do you know what's funny? But you know what's so funny about your little example is what? that that exactly happened to me when I was in Florida <laughs> just now a couple of weeks ago. I have a picture. I'm gonna have to find a way to share it afterwards. But but. It, I, I sat down in the resort in the in the chair and yeah. it, it just gave out. It gave out like the two percent level on on interest rates. <laughs> well, there you go. It's just my ass went right through the chair. It was awesome. All right, it had nothing anyway. to do with the fact that you've been drinking too much and put on some weight. Okay, no, let's that, go to the next one. So April nineteenth, it was on my birthday, oh, back God. in uh, the, earlier in the year. Where it, oh, and this is setting up to being a wonderful birthday present. Yeah, this was uh, a terrible bet on my part. Yeah, and so we bet on whether inflation will average more or less than one point nine percent for the remainder of two thousand nineteen. And what I love is the wager was perfect, yeah. because it was picking up the tab for a night of beer drinking with me and five market huddler listeners. And okay, by the so way. All of our one of those, um, yeah. One of them's already spoken for, yeah. Right, but uh, but so yes. It's uh, what so, I, you know what I, I he's going to be upset with me. I've forgotten his name, but the fellow from Detroit. Yeah, he's d- already Devin. He's Devin. Devin. Oh, there you go. You're a much better friend than me. Um, you remember <laughs> his name, but anyways, he, he's already spoken. We're going to be down to four. I'm going to lose this one. All I can say is it's just like it was your birthday. I'm glad I gave you something that was worth it. It's kind of like how Mrs. Big Picture Trading does something for you once uh, every uh, time on your birthday, too. In a so that's it. That's the only one you're going to win that's going to be a decent one. Yeah, they, I've lost it. It doesn't look good. Um, and it and was so any of our listeners, any of our listeners that want to be a part of this, uh, the four remaining spots for Market yeah. Huddle listeners to drink with us, reach out to us by email. Yeah, but uh, whoa, whoa. Well, you got to tell well, us why you want to be a part of it. Yes. It's not good enough. You got to tell us why. Let us know if we have more than if we have more. Yeah. If if more than four people have uh, send us emails, we'll have to uh, put you into a little bit of a lottery. No, no, we're not going to do that. We're going to pick four based upon the answers. There you go. Why you you deserve to be there. Yeah. Well, let us know. Maybe just it's just us. You, me and Devin, maybe. (laughs) going to take you to like blah, blah, All right. buy you some beers. May okay. 4th, a couple weeks yeah. later, oh God. We, asked, this one. Uh, we asked a simple question. What is the next Fed move? Is it a rate cut or is it a rate hike? What did you say, Kevin? I said hike. But listen, yes. to be fair to me, oh it, my was, God. it was a ballsy Don't. play because it was like very few people thought that. And it was at the time it was leaning that way. It was me and Scott M- Minor from Guggenheim. And we were, again, spectacularly wrong. The only thing about this, <laughs> this was a burger bet. I've already settled it up. I have made good on my uh, my wager. This has already been settled. It almost shouldn't have been included because I've already paid up. All right, all right. But you know what? I just needed to make it look I like I won more often than the loss. Yeah, I so, know, I know. So I, I, had to, I had to keep it in there. Anyway, so <laughs> June, June 8th. Uh, on June 8th, we made a bet. Uh, will the market make a new a new highs for the year later well, this well, year? Well, one second. And for our listeners, guess who picked which way? 
Big shock. Patrick was bearish. <laughs> Big shock, eh? Yeah. So, yeah, I was bearish and I was wrong. I was wrong, Kev. Uh, the market continued to make higher highs, even yeah. though to, recently I've been more yeah, bullish. Than I know. You. Do you know what? Actually, yeah. I, 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 I did want to say something nice about that. Um, I don't know. I'll pick another time when I'm feeling more nice about it. It's actually say something, but you have gotten it right lately on that. And, and I, you, you've been actually more right than me on the stock market recently. So nonetheless, this is a shut your mouth burger, but I don't understand. I guess we must have said something online because that was uh, what uh, um, Devin basically wrote in there. So we must have got, this must've been an aggressive burger, bet. It must have been. I already uh, settled I, it up. It was no, hey, no, this is, which, no, this is me. Way, I owe I you the burger. I oh, haven't yeah. settled up. Oh, that's right. Okay, and you know what, Patrick? I got you a found new place. the burger joint. I right? found a new burger Wh joint. Which one is for it? those Let's give that them a are shout from out. Toronto? I will give it a shout out. It's the Museum Tavern, and I went there today because I like my burgers, and uh, to kind of scout it out, and it's awesome. The it's Museum awesome. Tavern on Bloor. Across from the museum, we're gonna go. You're gonna take it. It's a great burger. I'm looking forward to it. I'm gonna have many beers while I do it. I'm gonna include beers on my burger. Kay. All right, done deal. All right. So then, so here was the chart, and uh, yeah, it keeps plugging away. So now on July 12th in the summer, we bet uh, on Deutsche Bank yeah. higher or lower first touch. What is it? First go to five uh, before ten, or ten before five, and yeah. this was a steak dinner and this is a live and active bet <laughs> that is that is uh, uh, no closer to resolution yeah we're back at seven and a half aren't we we're yeah, literally we're back seven at seven and, and a half we're right in the dead center and one of us is going to be spectacularly wrong and we don't know we're literally right in the middle and so this is one we're going to keep tracking this is an open-ended bet yeah someone's going to win this there is a steak dinner happening on this one yes this I'm gonna, and i'm going to win it and i'm going to go wagyu on your candy ass there we go <laughs> okay <laughs> The market gods are going to punish you for that. I, like, you're talking trash, and that's not good. But anyways, let's go. August 2nd, <laughs> yeah, you know, 2019. You're going to hold me to that. August 2nd, we did the British pound versus the U.S. dollar first touch. It was a burger bet. Does the pound go to 115 before it goes to 129 or 129 before it goes to 115? And you nailed this one, dude. Congratulations. Yeah. Take a bow for your spectacular market call. Actually, I just realized, well, that's very kind of you. I, I, I do have all sorts of bad ones, so don't worry about that. But uh, I do realize now that I am two burgers uh, as a credit here. Yes. So we're gonna have to, I'm going to have to find another burger joint. I'm wondering if I should just put them together and make a steak. Anyway. No, you can't do that. <laughs> okay. You can't do that. <laughs> okay, let's go. What's our is that our last one? No, 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 that was that. No, and no, no, no the recent one oh, just from yeah. the last month. The, oh, the, this is actually, you know what, Patrick? This is yes. the one I'm worried about. This is you the are one, worried about this. This is it because it's uh, the, the, the stakes have never been higher. And the stakes have never been higher. So, uh, back on October 11th, it was the US dollar versus the Japanese yen. First touch to 112 or 104. And uh, this is the wager. Of whoever loses should be yeah. actually the winner gets the opportunity, not the loser. But 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 it, it, we are doing it. The loser has to um, put on the tire for the uh, market huddle menswear. That's right. And the market huddle menswear is obviously the the pan the shorts with the dress pants. I mean, with the dress uh, shoes, with the dress socks, and a up short to the, shirt. Up to the knees. A and a short sleeve shirt with a tie. Right, basically, and what you and, find and it in will be Sears, in a and it will be from nineteen seventy five, and it would be it, it will be the the cover of the episode when when the loss. That's is good. Occurred. I like that. I like that. And maybe it's, if it happens before our drinking uh, night, um, just when I have. Oh, to now you're that, really pushing it. We could do it then. We'll see if it happens before then. Yeah. Anyways, those anyway, those are some good that's, bets. That, I like it, that's good bets. So we have. Yeah. I owe you a couple burgers, but uh, I've cashed in a bit. I've got. Yeah. I've got definitely some dollar bills coming my way. But you got uh, one. Yeah. You got a loony. You got one. <laughs> Isn't it? You, you Something like yeah. Two? No, it's true. It's maybe true. it's two. I can't. Remember. I. I. I'm. I'm 
this intellectual violence has got me really worked up. Okay. Yeah, well, I could hear you. Anyways, let's go on.